Stepney, the Bluebell engine, works closely with his friend Rusty. One day Sir Topham Hatt came to see him. Rusty tells me you're in need of a change, so I want you to help Toby and Mavis in the quarry. Oh, thank you, sir. Ooh, do I hear a new voice for Stepney? Can I have more, please? And what's with the stock footage from before? Do we not have enough money here? But hey, I'm down to see another adventure about Stepney. Considering when he was introduced in Season 4, he only had a few that truly focused on him. Stepney soon arrived at the quarry. We're glad you're here to help us, said Toby. Are these my cars? asked Stepney. Only some of them. There's masses more in the sidings, replied Mavis. The more the merrier. Ah, I'm loving this voice Baldwin is giving him. Who would have thought a Cockney accent fit Stepney so well? I'm going to wind back that claim I made an episode ago about so-so voice roles by Baldwin. He's still not the best, but this was a great change. Unlike the change in schedule Stepney was about to get with the night train being requested. Do you want to pull the train? Yes, please, said the driver. But he should have asked Sir Topham Hatt first. Night came. Be careful, Stepney. I will, and thank you for a lovely day. I do hope I can come back again. The line can be spooky, said Mavis. Thank you for the warning. Probably one of the more friendliest chats between engines we have seen in a long time. Notice Toby and Mavis are quite content with each other now? See how a little life-threatening peril can change people forever? But is that what Stepney's going to encounter in this story? Let's hope not. Mavis was right. Suddenly everything does look spooky. There's a signal box, called his driver. And the signal light is green. Someone must have been expecting us. But they weren't. Well, if they weren't, why were all these things set in place? Notice Stepney's headed down the same line Henry went down with spooky old Bailey? Also, when Mavis spoke, an owl hooted, and of course the fog came down too. I think it's best to avoid this area at night in general. Old Bailey isn't doing his job, obviously, because they ended up heading into the last place Stepney ever should have been. The driver made a decision. It's best if we rest here until the fog clears. What are those strange sounds? wondered Stepney. Then the fog slowly lifted. Oh no! We're in the scrapyards! And somehow Stepney's crew thought it was a brilliant idea to go look for help. Isn't someone going to think he's lying around for another reason, aside from being lost? Take note, we have seen the scrapyards before, but this puts it in a much more disturbing setting considering how the music, situation, and look of everything else just isn't good. We also get to see two new diesels we've never seen before, which probably means no bueno either. Got you this time, Stepney. You'll make very fine scrap indeed. Buffer him, Bert. The diesels took him to the large smelter shed. This is looking pretty grim. All the rusty engines lying around, and now these two five o'clock shadow diesels are taking Stepney to be scrapped. Lovely. Just lovely. Making things even better was a giant claw machine that was getting ready to dump Stepney into the molten metal. Did Toby not say to be careful? <sighs> you know, I just don't understand how Top Hat can have this black market of train scrapping on his own island. Speaking of which, he stopped the crane from grabbing Stepney. Yippee! There stood Sir Topham Hat. It's a good thing I'm visiting this yard tonight. Saving you from scrap is becoming a habit, Stepney. Please stop it. Yes, sir. But I have learned something. What's that? There's no place like home. And that's exactly where you're going now. Blue bells forever! Among a pile of scrapped engines. Surely a sight that emotes happy feelings. This was certainly another bleakish episode, but it definitely left another stark impression. Stepney has always been a tank engine with entries not so focused on him. The first couple were, but then drifted only having him included with lesser known characters. This is the first in a while he gets a chance to do something for himself. And kind of like Oliver, who was also saved from scrap, it was interesting seeing him return accidentally to a place he didn't really belong. I'm sure it made his wheels wobble. And as I said, Baldwin's voice for Stepney was awesome. It's the first time a character was given a Cockney accent, and it really grabs the attention. It was also cool to see engines belong to the scrapyards. Though we only know one of the Diesel's names, 
Bert. And who's the other? Ernie? Can I get a name drop? Yeah, I know it's Ari, but uh, to the newcomer, who's gonna figure that out? I don't see why they couldn't be introduced properly. It also was nice seeing Mavis and Toby together. They make a great cow catcher team. Music featured were two cues. The first was Stepney's memorable theme, and the other was the lost theme for him, which definitely elevated the tension. Lastly, for locations, places of interest like Stepney's branch line, his shed, and the old stone bridge are seen. The new spots went to the Sodor Ironworks, which isn't new in general, but the smelter shed and the heaps of rusted out engines surely left a scarring mark on viewers. The lighting, smoke, and colors were crazy. Next episode is Toby's Discovery. Thanks for watching.